everybody, it's Amber Amethyst. Um, so anyone who's been following this channel for a while knows it's no surprise that I am quite a Gravity Falls fan. And yes, the show did end over a year ago. Um, I've been happy with the reruns. Um, we have had like, a couple of specials like Seuss's fan fiction and all. But I've been like wondering recently, like, if it's, like, yes. We pretty much know that a season three is not going to happen, and yes, it was a better decision to go ahead and end it early than to have it just run on and on and on and on and on until it lost all of its charm and originality and everything that made this like one of the best cartoons ever. So yes, it was a better decision to end it early than for it to drag on and rot. However, I'm wondering if it was possible that we could ever have like a new mini series or a movie or anything of the sort um, with such a great location and so many wonderful characters it is possible. These were some of the ideas I came up with. Um, I came up with three actually and they are in no particular order. This is just some ideas that I have that I just felt like sharing. Before I get started I should go ahead and mention spoiler warning. There are some spoilers for the end of Gravity Falls itself. If you have just started watching or have you not finished watching the series all the way through um, you may want to go ahead and skip this video until you do because it does have some spoilers in it. As well as a few spoilers for Journal 3. Um, but if you have watched all of Gravity Falls, it shouldn't be too much of a spoiler. I mean, pretty much everything that's in here are things we pretty much already know um, that have happened um, based on a couple of the episodes, such as Tell Two Stands. And um, Society of the Blind Eye. I'm just giving that warning before we get into it. So the first spin-off se series that um, I thought of was Ford and Stan's um, Adventures Out on the Sea. So we find out at the end of Weird Mageddon Part 3 that Stan and Ford finally do go after their childhood dream of sailing around the world looking for adventure and treasure. Um, we do see a small glimpse of this in the last episode when they're doing pretty much like what everyone, giving glimpses of everyone in the show um, as a part of the finale. So it's possible that we could have like maybe a six or eight episode, like 30 minute episodes of the adventures and their encounters out on the sea when they're researching the anomalies out there. I think it'd be cool to see some sea monsters, um, like the Kraken. Um, we, I think that's the creature they're fighting in that episode. Maybe the sirens. Possibly a trip to like an underwater kingdom like Atlantis. We could also get, we could possibly even get like a return cameo of Mermando or some of his family. They could encounter pirates. Quite a few scenarios that could get in there. Um, and it'll be fun, funny to see how these two handle the situations. Um, it also would include a lot of fluffy brotherly moments between the two, which I think they have 40 years to make up for and so it would just I just think that would be like a really good spin-off series to have it doesn't even have anything long it could be something like four or maybe five episodes or if they just want to do like little tiny like five minute episodes and like just having little clips of what happened here what happened there um they want to do it like it's in a scrapbook or in a in a ship log or something. Uh, I just think that's like one possible idea. The second idea I have, and this is actually my favorite of the three, is a look into Ford and Phil for his early days in Gravity Falls. We get a brief, brief look into this in A Tale of Two Stands when Ford is giving his side of what happened and also in the journal, um, pretty much the first third of the journal is um, Pretty much Ford's early days in Gravity Falls and the journal itself could be like a basic script for this this mini series um this one could actually be a little longer maybe 10 episodes possibly even 12 um, I don't know if they want to do that many yeah we could see some of the early creatures like I think it'd be pretty cool to see some of the adventures mentioned in this journal brought to the screen through animation such as Fiddleford's encounter with the Grim Loblin, um, the shapeshifter, I would really like to see more on him because I just feel like he was just way too good of a character to just have one episode, especially when he's mentioned how dangerous he is in here. He's got like four 
whole pages just dedicated to him. I would really like to see Ford stay in the haunted corduroy cabin and his account with the 10 different types of ghosts. That would be just so interesting to watch. And also to see um, Ford's encounter with Bill when he was younger and he was naive. He actually worshipped Bill. He thought he was a friend. How Bill was able to trick him. Like we do get to see like very little of that in the last Mabel Corn, but it's explained a lot more in detail here. It would also be nice to see Ford's descent into madness when he realizes that Bill has tricked him, like right up until Stan comes, and possibly even further than that if they also want to show like maybe some of Ford's, if they want to do a second season, they could pretty much just dedicate to Ford's adventures in the portal like we get like a little bit of that that in here we hear about some of the other dimensions that are in here as well as Ford's almost final first battle with Bill um let's see that's pretty much using in this journal as a script for that um that's just another possible idea any third idea um this one could actually work more as a movie, but it could also work as like a very small spin-off series, and that would be on Bill's Return. Um, this is based off of the Axolotl, 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 not quite sure how to say that animal's name, his poem he has about how Bill could possibly return, um, how he was able to break from the statue and stay in the mine don't really know. It would be interesting to see him like he could come back for revenge or it could be possible that a more terrifying powerful being has come to Gravity Falls and perhaps Dipper found out that the only way to defeat him is to actually join forces with Bill forcing them to join an alliance for a common goal and maybe even have like Bill's redemption um, or Bill based off that poem that the ex exolatal exolatal what he said about him have, coming back as a different form so Bill can come back as a different form whether or not he remembers who he is it could go either way if he's coming back for revenge or if he's just coming back to treating himself or if he's coming back not even remembering um these are all possibilities and I just feel like that Bill is not really gone for good that's why they did manage to keep him from taking over their dimension in their universe, I do strongly believe that he's not gone for good and that he possibly could come back. And this is possible, like I said, this could work as a movie, like a TV movie, or this could work as like a mini series. The likelihood of any of these happening are so very slim to unlikely. But these are just some ideas that I have floating around my head. Like, what if they did want to continue the story? What are some ideas? Where's some? Um, ways in which they could do it and these were just some of the ideas that came to me and I just felt like sharing them. Um, so in the meantime we do have the reruns, we do now have um, Seuss's fan fiction which they're quite enjoyable, they're very short, and we have fan fiction itself. So in the meantime we have all those things we could, we can enjoy. The show is sadly over but it will always be remembered as a great cartoon and one of my all-time personal favorites. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more like it, um, you can click the subscribe button. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.